Welcome to another Whipmix 3Shape tutorial. Today we are going to cover how to scan an anatomical coping, change scan settings, and achieve a clean and accurate scan. To begin, let's open the 3Shape Dental Manager. Once the Dental Manager opens, we will want to create a new order. If you don't know how to create an order, please watch tutorial 1 of the series. This tutorial covers all the aspects of setting up an order. Here's an overview of the order we will be scanning. I have selected tooth number 19 and it's set up as an anatomical coping. If we look to the top right hand corner of the screen, under scan settings, we'll see that the order has a section preparation arch and an antagonist arch. Under the material drop down, I have specified that we will be milling this anatomical coping out of wax. In order to open this order, we must either double click on the corresponding order or click on the icon that looks like a three-shaped scanner. After scan it restoration opens, we want to go down to the settings under arch type. Here we can specify whether it's a quadrant or a full arch. Now that we've selected quadrant, we can specify the arch scanning height. To change the height, we click either the up or down arrow. Just keep in mind that when you increase the height, it'll scan more information and it'll take more time to finish scanning. I keep my height at 30, but you can play with the height and find what works best for you. Below the scanning height is texture scanning. This allows the scanner to gather pencil and colored pencil markings. This feature is most commonly used for scanning dies that you've marked the margin on. I'm using the D700 for this tutorial, so I can't use this feature though. If you have an 800 series or higher 3 ship scanner, then you can use this feature. Another way you can change the scan settings is by clicking on the file tab and then selecting scan settings. The scan settings menu has multiple tabs. I'm only going to cover the general settings in this video. The only two settings I'd recommend you changing are the single die scanning height and the arch scanning height. Now let's get the model ready to be scanned. When you're putting the arch on the tray, make sure the buckle is facing the front of the tray and the lingual is closest to the flat side. To start the scan, we'll click Next. After the scanner has finished its quick scan, it'll ask us to choose the area of interest. The default auto select setting is Ordered Teeth and Neighbors. You can change the auto select setting by clicking on the drop down menu. The setting below Ordered Teeth and Neighbors is All Teeth. When we select the setting, 3Ship will select all the teeth on the scanned arch. Below All Teeth is All. This setting will select everything that we've scanned in the quick scan. If you don't want 3Shape to auto-select your area of interest, you can clear the selection. To do this, click on the button labeled Clear. Now that the selection is cleared, we can manually select the area of interest. We can use either the square selection tool or the circle. By default, the circle selection tool will be selected. When we want to change the tool, we can click on the picture of the circle or the square. When selecting the area of interest, I like to use the square tool. If you're running an older version of 3Shape, then you may have to manually select your area of interest. To select the area of interest with the square tool, all we have to do is left mouse click and then drag to the desired size. For this scan, we'll just use the Order Teeth and Neighbors automatic selection. Click the Continue button to begin the scan. Once the scanner finishes scanning, it'll ask us to select the tooth that we will be working with. When selecting the tooth, we need to add the point anywhere on the buckle margin. To clear the selection, we can press the clear button. Now that we've selected our tooth, we'll click next in order to scan the antagonist. The scanner will gather a quick scan of the antagonist arch. For this scan, we'll leave the auto select setting to the default. Press continue and it'll scan the selected area in more detail. Now that the antagonist scan is complete, 3Shape wants us to trim the antagonist. This will make our scan look cleaner. We can use the circle tool or the square tool. If we want to undo, we simply press the backwards arrow. For this tutorial, we'll use the square tool. As you can see, it makes the process relatively easy. Now that we've made our selection, we can press apply to show the area that we removed. If we're happy with the trim, we can click OK to move on. When scanning the lower and upper arches together, make sure the bite is correct. Place the rubber band around the models to hold them in place. This keeps the scan bite from moving during the scan. After we have put the rubber band on, 
we'll secure the models to the tray. Make sure the buckle is facing the front of the tray and the lingual is closest to the flat side of the tray. Now click on next to scan the two arches together, forming the bite. After the scan finishes, it will align the previous scan to the bite we just scanned. I'll show you how to manually align the arches though. That way if you ever need to, you'll know how. We can either use the one point or three point alignment. If we don't like the alignment, we can press reset to start the alignment from the beginning. To select a point, simply left mouse click on the model. After we've aligned the prep arch, we press OK to move on to the antagonist. To rotate your scan, make sure you select the three point alignment and then pull the slider either left or right. Once you align your antagonist arch, you can press OK to move on to the final scan. The last scan is the tooth scan. If the auto alignment fails, we'll need to align it properly. To do so, click yes when it asks you if you want to manually align. Place your first three points on the die in the prep scan. Next, we'll try to place the points in the same locations on the die scan. If your points don't line up, then you can press reset and move the point. After you've made your changes, press apply to see the results. Once we've aligned the tooth correctly, click OK to move on. The final step is optional, but recommended. We can now trim the prep arch. To view the tooth scan individually, click on the yellow tooth icon. This will bring up the scan. To view the difference map, we press the difference map icon at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. The difference map shows us how different the prep die scan was from the actual die scan. Click the next button to finish the scan. This concludes tutorial 2. In the next tutorial, we'll be covering how to design the anatomical coping. If you have any questions, feel free to visit whitmix.com. Thanks and have a great day.